guys so today I'm gonna show you how to make this driftwood snowflake um, it's actually much easier than it looks but I made the mistake of not wearing gloves when I cut like over 74 pieces um, so make sure if you're using a handsaw wear a, a glove um, it'll make it easier so right now what I'm doing is I am measuring my driftwood, making the cuts, lining it up. Um, the middle cuts are 22.5 degree angle. And here is the Pottery Barn snowflake um, that this is inspired from for $349. And I just thought to myself, I cannot spend $349 on this wall art for my mom. So I'm going to put it together myself. So I did just that. I bought the driftwood on Etsy for 26 bucks. Um, really great seller, Dreamy Driftwood Company on Etsy. And I gathered all like evenly thick pieces of driftwood. And my center points of the snowflake and the outer points, they're cut at a 45 degree angle. And so the first step was to set up my snowflake. That told me the size of the plank backdrop that I would need. And so I went ahead and cut 18 inch long boards and 19 inch long boards because um, every other board is going to be a little bit smaller. So it comes in half an inch on each side and then the 19 inch board and then the 18 inch board, so on and so forth. So again, wear a glove. It's a lot of cutting. Um, I went ahead and I cut from top to bottom and Pottery Barn's Snowflake, they actually put an extra plank on top and bottom. And I'm sure they used really nice finished wood. I just used this lath board. It was like a pack of 10 for less than $10. So again, you know, I this was a budget project. I only used um, four pieces of lath board. So let's just say about four bucks. So then I lined them up and as you can see, each board comes out about half an inch. Um, lay on your vertical piece. I just use a brad nail gun to quickly attach with half inch brad nails and then sand down the edges. Now you're going to have to sand these edges again after you paint because lath boards, they're a little bit rough, a little bit um, rustic and rough. So don't worry about it. Once the paint dries, sand it off. It's fine. Now this paint, this is just a huge tube of off-white acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby for $2.99. So totally keeping my cost down. I did three layers of paint, just so you know, but it dries quick. So now I noticed on the Pottery Barn design, they had a square dowel rod underneath each piece of driftwood. So all those driftwood pieces you cut, now you have to cut those same cuts, but with the dowel. But don't worry, you don't have to do the angled cuts because you want your square dowel to come in a little bit under the driftwood. So I just started, I measured, made sure my center piece was centered, and then I attached it with a brad nail gun. And for the long pieces, you want to do a, a nail on the outside and a nail in the center just for support. And then I start taking apart my setup snowflake. So that was the key is setting up my snowflake and then assembling it onto the dowel. So I just did it piece by piece and it kind of gives a nice raised effect. Um, right now I'm kind of just eyeing it. I have my angled cuts in the center there. I'm centering it, I'm just lining it up because that's gonna tell me how where to put the dowel. And so I go ahead and attach it. Should have attached the center um, of that one probably. Um, and here's another lesson learned is you can see that I, I'm, I'm brad nailing like really lightweight dried out driftwood. Um, I don't know if Pottery Barn nailed theirs in, but it really wasn't necessary. You could probably use an ultra hot glue gun, you know, draw a nice bead of glue and just set it on there and it would probably be good as gold. Um, I got lucky though, I only split one piece of driftwood on one of the outer, or maybe it was one of the inner points. Anyways, I split one, I went to my package because um, the company, Etsy shop sent me a bunch, 
grabbed another piece similar thickness, cut a new one, and I was fine. Um, but yeah, it, you could just glue it. I nailed it, whatever. So as you can see, I'm again, I'm just lining up where I want the dowels to go. It's not scientific. It's just, it's to match my already set up snowflake. And then I just put it in place. And I went all the way around, did it for all the inner points. I'm good to go. Now I'm working on the outer points. Um, when I cut these outer points, they were all a little less than two inches. And then I just made the decision to have the outer points come down about two inches. So you just take a ruler, check it out, mark it, and then make sure each one of your snowflake points, it comes down two inches. Um, when you are cutting the dowel, um, you want to sand the edges. And I just had my six-year-old do it. I gave her a sanding sponge and I was cutting up the pieces and she sanded them perfectly for me. So you can totally enlist help from your kiddos, um, any helpers, it's not difficult to sand. So you'll want to go ahead and when you are doing this part, you have to be careful because if you decide to use a brad nail gun like I did, as you can see, I just split, the, I just split that one. Or what I did is when I nailed it in, I nailed on top of an, see, I just split. That was the one I split. I decided I'll cut it later, come back to it. So that was the only one that I actually ruined. Um, the wood just totally split on me. But what first happened is I nailed into the nail underneath. So look, you know, look onto the side and make sure you place your two brad nails somewhat in the center of the driftwood if you've used the outer edges for the dowel, um, if you even decide to brad nail them. So I get all my tools from Home Depot. It's, I've always had amazing luck with them. High quality battery chargers fast. All the batteries are interchangeable. Um, I used half inch brad nails for this project because the lath boards are not that thick. The driftwood, not that thick. The dowel, not that thick. And so you don't want brad nails too long or else it will just shoot right through your wood. Um, and that's no good. So um, anyways, after you get all your pieces on, that is when you want to blow off any of you know all the little bits and pieces you want to check your ends Do, does anything need to be sanded cleaned up um, and I also made the mistake of not sawing off the green colored tip of my dowel so make sure you don't use ends with you know the the dye color from the store um, just cut those off and then when you're all done you want to raise up your piece pre-drill the hardware hole and just screw in your picture hangers uh, and you know measure mark pre-drill and um, screw it in and then you're good to go so please give me a thumbs up let me know what you think in the comments this art cost me 35 bucks thanks for watching please subscribe mm -hmm.